In an industry that has gravitated to the move fast approach and creation of cryptocurrencies with tokenomics that seem to be specifically designed to cause huge market price valuations in bull cycles, I get the impression that the true meaning behind delivery in the development of blockchain technology has been lost on so many who operate in this space. So much so that with its seemingly unattractive 45 billion supply and careful approach to research development and the rollout of its roadmap has created a narrative that Cardano never ships and always fails to deliver anything of note. This however for anyone paying attention couldn't be further from the truth. For me, delivery in blockchain is about executing each stage of the roadmap and in doing so, with each milestone being achieved, introduce new functionality, use, utility and value to the system, something Cardano has continued to do from Byron to Basho. Narratives are easy to form, but what's difficult is the creation of a provably secure proof of stake blockchain that's sustainable, scalable, interoperable and highly decentralized. If you want to see what delivery looks like in blockchain development, then Cardano is an impeccable example of this, and in today's video, we'll evaluate exactly why this is the case. Welcome back for today's installment of Cardano Insights, where we track the important developments at the very pulse of Cardano and its ecosystem. So let's get straight into it. Probably the most significant detail that caught my attention and drew me to Cardano in the first place was IOG's approach to blockchain development. Since its very inception, Cardano has and will continue to be guided by a methodical research-based and evidence-backed approach with a deliberate intent to foster innovation. In addition, the use of Haskell and formal methods also intrigued me considering the high levels of assurance this produces. Although this approach is the polar opposite to the move fast mentality this industry has become accustomed to, slow and steady should definitely not be confused for never ships. Ever since Cardano's initial version as a federated network of just seven nodes, Input Output Global has implemented a variety of critical pieces to its design, which to date has formed an undeniable beast of a blockchain. Over five development phases, IOG introduced innovations, new functionality and novel features that has continued to separate it from the pack with each stage of the rollout building upon the previous era's advancements. Every addition to the technology stack has vastly improved or enhanced Cardano. Some features such as smart contracts are highly visible for those who interact with the chain, whilst others, such as pipelining or block diffusion, are more subtle but no less impactful. Thanks to the peer-reviewed process and use of formal methods, each new feature propels Cardano one step closer to becoming the leading, most robust and highly reliable enterprise-grade blockchain as it journeys towards realizing its ultimate promise to become a world financial and social operating system. It's my view that any true blockchain advocate should admire Cardano's approach, the problems it's set up to solve and importantly, what it has so far been able to deliver. As a result of the time and expertise dedicated to the project by the collective of brilliant minds that span across the globe, today Cardano has very much evolved into a third generation open source proof of stake blockchain. Fundamentally, Cardano set out to resolve the security, scalability and interoperability issues the first two generations of blockchain suffer from while fulfilling an extremely ambitious agenda of decentralization. To achieve this, IOG has developed Cardano in layers and from the ground up, prioritizing security first then its expressiveness thereafter, something we're now seeing the true benefits of as the Cardano ecosystem of layer 2 protocols begins to emerge. Its research, development and delivery has contributed significantly not only towards its own success but has benefited the progression of the wider space where we see many examples of alternative blockchains implementing aspects of its peer-reviewed technology. Despite this, a criticism often levied at Cardano is that whilst it may be full of promise, it never delivers anything of note. As you may have already guessed, I strongly disagree with this statement. So much so, the following video will focus on each phase of the Cardano roadmap, recount its achievements and define its importance on the overarching development journey towards true governance of the system and mass adoption. So let's dive in and understand what exactly Cardano has delivered. The story of Cardano began in 2015 with a vision of addressing the three strategic challenges facing all blockchain networks, scalability, sustainability and interoperability in the most secure and decentralized manner. Two years, thousands of GitHub commits and hundreds of hours of rigorous study later, the first version of Cardano, Cardano Byron, shipped in September 2017. Byron enabled users to buy and sell ADA on a federated network running the groundbreaking and peer-reviewed Ouroboros consensus protocol. Being the heart of the Cardano network, Ouroboros is the first proof-of-stake protocol based on academic peer-reviewed research with a mathematically proven level of security, something that in time, when we think about mass adoption of blockchain technology, onboarding governments, big business and institutions alike, will prove to be of great significance. 
The delivery of Byron was followed by the Byron Reboot, which was a series of updates where multiple components of the Cardano network, including the Cardano Node, the Cardano Explorer, and Wallet Backend were updated, and also delivered Daedalus, IOG's official desktop wallet. During this time, Emergo, one of Cardano's founding entities, also delivered Yoroi in this period, a light wallet built on the original development work from IOG, designed for quick transactions and day-to-day -day use. Byron also included a block explorer to track the history of ADA transactions, a tool specifically designed for browsing chain activity. The shipping of Byron and the Byron reboot combined laid the very foundations for the blockchain and ecosystem we have before us today. Now as much as Byron was vital in being the first technology development, equally in importance, it was also about building and harnessing the power of a community to drive the evolution of the blockchain of the future. It allowed Cardano to grow from just a small group of enthusiasts to a global community, with Ada being hosted on more than 30 cryptocurrency exchanges. Thanks to Byron, a community of a different kind was born, one that was captivated by the approach to building this technology the right way, banking the unbanked, and above all, the idea that going against the status quo and opposing the cynicism that's rife throughout the industry, maybe, just maybe, a system could be created to replace the ones that have failed so many, offering financial and social inclusion to all of those who choose to participate. Next came the era known as Shelley. This created a decentralized economic system that has driven Cardano's growth and optimization ever since. Moving away from Byron's federated network maintenance, more and more nodes were run by the Cardano community in a progressive evolution to full decentralization. Since the launch of Shelley, Cardano has gained over 3,000 stake pool operators. The SPO community greatly contributed to the success of the Shelley launch, playing an integral role in Cardano's evolution from the early days of the ITN to the mainnet fork and beyond. Shelly focused on several critical steps to ensure an enhanced user experience for stakeful operations, delegation preferences, and incentives. As a proof of stake blockchain, Shelly allowed users to stake their ADA to participate in network consensus. Painstakingly designed using game theory and the latest research into proof of stake networks, the delegation and incentive mechanism encouraged users to delegate their stake to stake pools, community run network nodes, and be rewarded for honest participation in the network, which has continued to grow to this very day. Since the launch of Shelly, the IOG team has worked on many new features and upgrades, all intended to improve and optimize the user experience for both delegators and SPOs. Throughout this period, the staking and delegation strategies underwent parameter changes and calculation improvements focusing on long-term benefits for the community rather than one-off profit. To level the playing field, IOG changed the network parameters to allow an even spread of the stake across the network, thus eliminating the potential for larger stake pools to dominate the ecosystem. SPOs and ADA delegators could then experience more favorable staking opportunities for network sustainability and continuous returns. Whilst this remains a contentious topic, it can't be denied that Cardano offers the best-in-class staking experience, where participants can not only grow their ADA, but also have no lockups, enabling them to move, spend, and interact with DeFi applications in just a few clicks. In March 2021, block production on Cardano became fully decentralized when the D parameter was set to zero. This placed the responsibility for block production in the hands of the SPO community, a parameter that was eventually removed entirely in the Vassal Chain upgrade event. Along with these significant enhancements, IOG worked to expand Cardano's functionality. For a better stake pull operation experience, RTView enabled real-time monitoring of node activities. IOG deployed the transaction metadata feature to allow the embedding of specific data to transactions, which was useful prior to smart contract support implementation. Finally, data accountability has always played an integral role in staking and delegation. To enable better state pool data tracking and maintenance, IOG implemented the SMASH system for recording state pool metadata and has continuously improved the ranking system within the Daedalus wallet. These upgrades were based on user feedback and scientific research, which have driven user interface and user experience enhancements so that both SPOs and ADA holders can seamlessly navigate between pools and their respective data. Shelly represented the natural progression and evolution of the network, making it more useful, rewarding, and valuable for existing users. Shelly was also about preparing for the future, setting the stage for a distributed and functional network laying the groundwork for Gogan, Basho, and Voltaire, demonstrating there is indeed method to this commonly misunderstood peer-reviewed madness. Now, while Cardano Shelly provided a greater level of system decentralization, incentives, and community participation, Gogan development focused on the establishment of a global financial and multifunctional system for the building of decentralized applications through the implementation of smart contract support and custom native token issuance. The Gogan development theme is named after Joseph Gogan, a computer scientist specializing in the philosophy of computation and information. He was also involved in formal methods and theorem proving the techniques which IOG implements while building Cardano's solid foundation of peer-reviewed research and high assurance development. 
The Gogan development era established a versatile platform to build solutions around such application domains as supply chain, track and trace, finance, medical records, identity voting, property registration, peer-to-peer -peer payments, and many others which enable the use and utility the Cardona community has been waiting to realise. With its functionality, Gogan set the initial enablers for turning Cardano into a more interoperable and scalable platform, satisfying business and user needs, setting the stage for explosive growth in the ecosystem. With the introduction of the multi-asset support, this extended the functionality of Cardano by enabling users to define, create or destroy and exchange their own natively supported tokens, which is a highly underrated feature that presents a wealth of use cases. With multi-asset support, the Cardano accounting ledger allowed the handling of custom tokens with no need for smart contracts, which significantly streamlined operation processing and simplified token movement. Another benefit was the easier integration of smart contracts and dApps involving multiple cryptocurrencies. Plutus application development is another significant feature within Gogan. Plutus applications are built on top of the Plutus platform, a purpose-built smart contract development and execution platform utilizing Haskell. The use of Haskell allows developers to build secure and reliable applications with straightforward, concise and reusable code that grants the highest level of security and efficiency of use. Gogan also opens Cardano up to wider audiences via Marlow, allowing financial and business experts with no previous technical knowledge to create smart contracts. Marlow is a high-level domain-specific language that allows building contracts both visually and through coding. Financial institutions can use Marlow to develop and deploy custom instruments for their customers and clients. Marlow comes with the Marlow Playground, which enables development, simulation, and testing of the process of writing smart contracts in a sandbox environment, something that is going to become majorly impactful and a driver of adoption as we venture into 2023 and beyond. The implementation of such functionality as token locking, multi-asset and smart contract support made Cardano a multi-functional platform for dApp development. So much so, despite the ghost chain narrative, the ecosystem growth in the past 12 months has been incredible, with 106 projects launched on mainnet, over 1000 projects in development and 6.9 million native tokens issued. While still in its infancy, the Cardano ecosystem now offers DEXs, NFT marketplaces, lending platforms and a whole lot more, with a number of big arrivals soon to be deployed that are currently in the final stages of development. Gogan, in introducing the combination of Plutus and Marlow, enables a new class of enterprise-level smart contracts with verified functionality capable of underpinning large-scale implementations in the real world. This is a step change in the abilities of Cardano, paving the way to the development of mission-critical, decentralized smart contract applications. So we've looked at the three eras in the Cardano roadmap that have been delivered. Now we turn to Basho, Cardano's development phase focused on networked optimization, scalability and interoperability. With the core functionality in place, Basho is about improving the underlying performance of the Cardano network to better support growth and adoption for thousands of applications with high transaction volumes. During Basho, IOG aims to steadily increase the capacity and throughput of the Cardano ledger by deploying new layer 1 and layer 2 solutions. These solutions include on-chain improvements such as block size increases, on-chain storage, diffusion pipelining, Plutus memory and speed enhancements, as well as an improved Plutus cost model which we've already seen implemented in with the recent Vassal upgrade. Off-chain solutions that are deep in development include Hydra heads to maximize throughput and cost efficiency of transaction processing and Mithril which improves chain synchronization times for full and light node clients. Basho is also heavily focused on interoperability using solutions like sidechains and cross-chain bridges which enable bi-directional communication with other blockchain systems. The up-and-coming launch of the sidechains toolkit will allow developers to bootstrap their own sidechains to benefit from Cardano's first-in-class security, cost efficiency and environmentally friendly impact. Sidechains enable value transfer between blockchains that may operate under different rules or consensus mechanisms. The result will be greater interoperability for Cardano and the ability to support new kinds of use cases on the network. The Basho phase will see Cardano become one of the most high-performant, resilient and flexible blockchain platforms in the industry. This will deliver network infrastructure with the capability to scale in a sustainable and secure way as well as the ability to add new functionality without compromising the reliability at the core of the network. For me, Basho is where the wider space will realise that the slow and steady eventually becomes the fast and secure. The final phase of development which is being undertaken in parallel with Basho focuses on the decentralized governance and decision making known as the Voltaire era of which the initial SIP has now been drafted and released to the community. Voltaire will provide the Cardano community with the ability to decide on network development updates, technical improvements and project funding. 
For the Cardano network to become truly decentralized, it requires not only the distributed infrastructure introduced during Shelley, but also the capacity to be maintained and improved over time in a decentralized way. The formation of the MBO and introduction of delegated representatives aims to drive mass participation in governance and importantly, will form an institution that has the capabilities to harness the power of the community and convert this into productive and highly impactful decision-making outcomes. Voltaire focuses on the implementation of the final components required for the Cardano network to become a self-sustainable system. The introduction of a treasury system is one such component we already have available designed to ensure a continuous and self-sustaining source for funding Cardano improvements. The treasury is replenished every epoch from a portion of stake pool rewards, minted coins and the percentage from fees. To enable fair decision making on how these funds should be used, Voltaire also introduces the decentralized software update process. This allows ADA holders to participate in decision making and take an active part in voting to influence system advancements. Whilst Voltaire is very much work in progress, IOG has already implemented social experiments and designed many of the engineering tools to support these needs. Cardano improvement proposals, for instance, are deployed within Voltaire as a social communication system that acts as an open source library with resources describing formal, technically orientated standards, code and processes that provide guidelines for the Cardano community in a transparent and open source way. Another major step towards decentralized governance was the launch of Project Catalyst, which underpins the treasury system functionality, combining proposal and voting procedures. Project Catalyst maintains the source of funding for supporting initiatives and improvements proposed by ADA holders, while simultaneously rewarding and incentivizing people who dedicate their time and effort to making productive decisions. Although it's already been responsible for many innovations, developer tooling and projects being funded to launch, an overhaul of the process is currently on the way that will see the project streamlined to ensure it drives participation and importantly makes best use of the fund. Voltaire is about the development of concepts, tools and experiments driving a fully decentralized ecosystem to democratize the Cardano network. With all the components in place, Cardano will become a truly decentralized platform, no longer under the founding entity's control, one that truly harnesses the power of the entire community who will have everything they need to grow and evolve Cardano from the secure decentralized basis that has been established by IOG. On reflection, in terms of the evolution of Cardano, it can't be denied that IOG have so far delivered an incredible amount of research and development that has translated into a highly capable, efficient and innovative blockchain. This video only scratches the surface of all the extremely difficult problems IOG have so far been able to overcome and third generation technology they've been able to produce. When taking a moment to reflect on the successes of Cardano and sheer amount of progress made against the roadmap, there's nothing that leads me to believe this won't also be the case for the delivery of Basho and Voltaire, two eras that will solidify Cardano as a blockchain that's very much in a league of its own. We'll be tracking all the developments as it unfolds in real time, right here on Cardano Insights. So that's it for today's installment of Cardano Insights, where we recapped IOG's development delivery and of course, continue to spread those positive Cardano vibes. If you found value in the content and want to help Sapien deliver against his own roadmap, then please be sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, which is the best way you can help support the channel. We'll be back soon with your daily roundups. Until then, thanks for watching, have a great day, and as always, keep it Cardano.